Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn? In this session we are going to use the color track method with the help of OpenCV and we are going to detect the custom objects. Okay? So before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends, thank you so much and let's get started. So friends, as I told you, we are going to use uh, OpenCV color tracking method and then we are going to detect the custom object. Okay, you can use a same method on Raspbian Buster legacy version. Okay, so let's get started. Simply, we need to clone the repository. The repository name is color tracking and inside that I have created the main file. Okay and then the tracker.py which basically uh, which basically tracks the particular color okay so we are going to clone the repository i will mention the link inside the description box so simple sudo git clone copy paste link hit enter it will clone the repository now we need to simply change the owner so sudo cs own space hyphen capital r pi is user pi is the group and then we need to mention simple our repository name which is the color tracking so we have done with the changing owner permission and now we want to go inside the programming tony python id and simply we need to open our script so open pi color tracking and first we are going to open the track.py and then the file open and our main code which is test.py that's it so now first of course we are going to we need here a uh, upper range and the lower range of color okay so simply we are going to set the upper range and the lower range okay so simply for that we need to first run the tracker.py so track.py is the file simply run the code and then as you can see this is what our main frame this is what the mark frame and this is what our track path okay and this is what our object okay as you can see okay this is the car the toy car okay so this is what our object so simply what we want to do we want to hide we want to hide all these things and only we want to show our object means we need here this particular color lower range value and the upper range value so for that we are going to use a track bars and with the help of track bars we we basically change the values okay so simple see here in mask frame okay so let's get started just start with lower s value so like this way as you can see in mask frame as I told you, we only want our car, okay? Like this way. Okay? So, lower H value, 157. Now, lower S value. As you can see, in mask frame, now we have only the car. Okay? As you can see. Okay. Now let's change a lower V value. Now it's better. It's really better. All is black and only our particular object is white. Okay. So now the upper H value, if you change the upper H value, the object is completely vanished, gone. So we don't want to change upper H value. Let's change upper S. Here it is. Uh, as you can see, if you make change in upper S value, the object is also vanish. Or we can say the white pixel is gone. So and uh, V upper value, as you can see. So we don't want to change the upper H and upper S and upper V value. Let me clear here, this is completely depend upon the object color. Okay? So, the values is depend upon the object. Okay? So, these values for particularly this scenario. Okay? So, now we have 
157 lower s 144 lower s and 49 for v the lower v value and 179 upper s and 255 upper s and 255 upper v so we need to mention all these values inside our main code so test.py and as you can see i have comment the lower range and upper range and here inside that we need to mention the values okay so let to make like this way the track bar this is what our values so lower 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 upper 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 so lower h 157 so we need to mention in lower range 157 then 144 then 49 This is all about the lower range, then upper range, one seventy nine, two five five, and two five five. So one seventy nine, two five five, and two five five, two five five. That's it. So we have done with the uh, color range. Now we don't want our tracker dot py. So simply stop the code. Okay. So this is what our main code. Import CV2, import NumPy as NP. Uh, this is the basic code. Cap is equal to CV2 dot video capture. Then while loop. Then we are going to read the uh, frame. Cap dot read. Then resize the frame. Okay. Then uh, CV2 dot in show. Then CV2 wait key. Then cap dot release. CV2 dot destroy all windows. This is the basic code. Then, okay. So we just mentioned the color range, the lower range, and the upper range. Okay. I hope you clear how to uh, uh, mention the color range okay then simply after we resize the frame we need to convert our main frame into bgr to hsv so for that hsv is just a variable cv2.cvt color method then frame we need to pass the frame then cv2.color bgr to hsv simple then we are going to use a cv2 in range method so mask okay so mask is equal to CV2 dot in range SSV lower range and the upper range. We need to mention a lower range and the upper range. Okay, and the HSV the variable. Okay, then mask CV2 threshold. We need to mention a threshold method. So we don't want the first channel. So first channel empty. Mask one is equal to CV2 dot threshold. Then of course we need to pass a mask as an object. Okay, so mask then 254, 255. Okay, then CV2 dot trash binary. This is what the method which we are going to use CV2 dot trash binary. Okay, so then we need to use here a find contours method. So simple CNTS. Then the second channel empty. Then CV2 dot find contours method. Then we need to pass the mask one. Okay, variable mask one CV2 dot Later external. This is what the method and CV2 dot chain approx none. This is what the method for detecting the contours. Then simply we are going to use a for loop. So for C in C N T S, for C in C N T S, x is equal to 600. Because we don't want uh, to detect all the contours. Okay, we only want the contours which basically greater than 600. Okay. So for that I have mentioned like this way x is 600. If CV2 contour area, so contour area is basically now C is greater than x, this value, okay, greater than x, then we are going to use x y w h is basically CV2 dot bounding rectangle method. So x y w h is basically CV2 dot bounding rectangle, and inside that we need to pass the C, okay. Now we have our x, y, w, h. Now simply we can draw the rectangle. Then we are going to put the text on the frame. Means when the particular object in range, the range which we mention, then it will print the details on the frame. Okay. So this is this is how we can basically use a. color method or color tracking method for detecting the custom object that's it so simply save the code if i run the code and as you can see it's draw the green rectangle because we mention the rectangle color 0255 and 0 so green 
So it detects the object and on the frame as you can see it's printed the detect. Now let me show you here as you can see it detects the object. Now there is no object. Again there is object detect. Okay. So here I have video also. So let me you can create your own video for particular current range and you can test it on the video also. So I have created here a one video. So cap is equal to C2 dot video capture. Okay. And then I am going to mention the part of the video. And inside downloads folder, I have car.mp4. This is what the video, and the same video in in video there is the same color car. Okay, so if I save the code and let me change the weight key. Okay, let's make it 32. Save the code. If I run the code, as you can see in this video, there is a car. As you can see, it's detected. But it detected also the, the here it is also the same color. That's why it detected another object. Okay, let me show you again. We are going to start the code again. As you can see, it is already detected because there is a another red color, and as you can see, the car is also detected. So uh, this is how, friends, you can use the color tracking method for detecting the custom object okay so i have shared with you the tracker.py and the main code okay where you need to simply simply mention your color range values that's it i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye